Good afternoon, amigos, from Santa Clara de Cobre. Another Pueblito, Pueblito, Mexico, in the great state of Michoacan. This area is one of the most beautiful areas in Mexico yeah. that we've ever seen, if not anywhere in the world that we've ever seen. The hills, the mountains, the climate. Yeah, I was searching for like a small mountain town, similar to a couple places we visited in the United States. This is it. Pátzcuaro, Sinsunsan, Santa Clara de Cobre, all three have been like the most charming little mountain towns. Let's do some exploring. And shopping. few fun facts about, about this pueblito, Santa Clara de Cobre is around 30 minutes uh, south, I believe south, from Pátzcuaro, maybe an hour and a half from Morelia, comment below, let me know just how bad I'm messing up all of these facts. Around 13,000 people live in this town, it has a very small town feel, similar to Pátzcuaro with uh, the white and red buildings with the red roofed, uh, red tiled roofs. This town has been around for thousands of years. The, the Peru Pure, Pure Pecha people uh, have been here obviously since the pre Hispanic times, dominating the culture or dominating the copper trade and copper production. This was one of New Spain's main areas of copper production. And that is, that's really kind of what makes this city what it is today, or, or why, why it might be a tourist destination is, is all of the copper that is still a, a, a handicraft or, or artisanship that is passed down generation from generation here in this town. We're gonna keep walking around. It's just the weather, the people, we haven't had any food yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and assume it's amazing. It's gonna be a good day. It is a little difficult to show on camera, but it is incredible how many different copper products we have seen from huge uh, bells that would fit inside of a, of a massive church to a bathtub that would fit me. So again, massive to little chiquito earrings to a Hilly a ring, a, uh, sinks, the bathroom sink, the kitchen sink. I've never seen quite this much copper in it's always so interesting how every little pueblito in Mexico has its own particular crafts, its own particular uh, artisanship that they are known for, that they're, they're, they are experts at. And it's just, it's pretty incredible to see. I think next time we're in this area, we definitely are gonna do some type of a workshop because I would love to attempt to make one of these pieces. thing I've ever seen <laughs> on my ofrenda. This little copper frying you're pan. On a copper frying pan. It's so cute.
Here in Mexico, you don't get sec you don't get silver for second place. You get a nice copper trophy. <laughs> you're not a real Mexican. You're not a real proud Mexican unless you have this five foot by five foot, or maybe one and a half by one and a half meter huge copper plate in your home. I think I might buy it. Santa Clara de Cobre is obviously all, the, <laughs> all of the Cobre and uh, the bad thing about it is all of the shopping. I, me, and, me and Troy have been sitting outside the store for an hour and a it's half been it seems ten like <laughs> waiting for waiting for the girls to buy things but amigos we love Michoacan and we love Mexico that's already known but Michoacan specifically I feel like it like being here just reminds me that Mexico is so big yeah. so diverse and I don't think many people outside of Mexico really truly realize how big and diverse Mexico is yeah. we're in a tiny little mountain town freezing like, our guts out <laughs> it is it is a, a little chilly but it's like I mean Mexico has deserts it has forests it has hills yeah. it has the coast it has just a little bit of everything and even within that every state in Mexico is like its own country in yeah. a way like Michoacan the food and the people and the, the crafts like I feel like if this were a country, that would be like big and diverse in and, itself. And big and yeah, exactly, big and diverse. And like Querétaro is the same way, and that's a smaller state, and it yeah. doesn't even have the as much cultural traditions as, as let's say Oaxaca. BW bug going by, but even like Querétaro has pretty much every yeah. ecosystem yeah. Uh, known to planet Earth is in the state of Querétaro. So it's just. I don't know, just being here in these little pueblitos here in Michoacan, yeah. and it just is magical a- Magical Michoacan. <laughs> magical Michoacan. It's just another reminder of how much we love Mexico and how, how it just really has, like why would we live anywhere else? It has so many things to offer, and if we get tired of a little pueblitito, we can go to the big city. If we get tired of the big city, we can go there. If we, and, it, and it never ceases to amaze us. I feel like every new city we go in, it's like, Wow, Greg, you've got to come see this. It's so different than any of every place we go is so very different from anywhere we've ever seen before. It truly is. And I think on the surface level, a lot of them seem the same. My dad jokes about them all having a church yeah. and a fossa and history, but they all really are so, so unique different. down to the food, to the crafts, to the people, the, the, people, the indigenous, different indigenous tribes that have lived yes. in each different area. It's, it's just, it's pretty, pretty magical. It's trying to rain on us, but we're going to see if we can take you to one more place that I think will highlight even more just how beautiful Mexico is. Let's do it. <laughs> Slight change of plans with Aww. the weather. We weren't really sure what the weather was going to do. It's been off and on raining. raining uh, just on cold, no off and on cold, just just straight cold. But we are gonna show you something that, uh, another thing that is still in our hearts here. It's a real gem. Here in Pazcuaro. It's a real gem, eh? It is. <laughs> We have some comida michoacana, sopa, tarasca. We've eaten this several times off camera. We finally had to show it on camera. This stuff is amazing. It is a, a bean and tomato based soup. That is what the chef is telling me. It has queso manchego, some crema, uh, a chili negro on top. We've got some guacamole coming. Just another reason to love Michoacan. The com comida michoacana, food here in Michoacan, is recognized by the UNESCO World Heritage Site. And that just blows my mind that the food is so rich and has such a history and such a tradition that UNESCO recognizes it. Let's dig in. That apurriadillo was the best apurriadillo I've ever had. I've only had it two or three times. But Let's that... just say it was around 60 degrees Fahrenheit outside 
or less. And right. Greg was literally sweating <laughs> from the spice. Ooh. That's Oof. a good aporriadillo right it there. Good. What's the name of the restaurant? It is called Gardinas. It, it is brand new. It is. This is the fourth or fifth time we've been yep. in just as many days. <laughs> we'll link all the information for yeah. below. We had a nice 30 minute chat with La Dueña after we yeah. after we If you're in Pascuaro, Gardinas <laughs> And it's to just go. the last thing we love about Mexico, last thing we love about Michoacan, is not necessarily the food, but I think I was thinking earlier today about how uh, there's just so many small businesses and we kind of made a video mm -hmm. about this, but like everybody owns something they own a little taqueria they own a yeah. like they make clothes abarrotes, or abarrotes. Uh -huh. like they all do something out of the house just the the uh entrepreneurship yeah. here yeah. in mexico and like i think just selfishly for us getting to try new food and meet new people we can like go basically go into someone's house and yeah meet and the try. family behind the meal that's crazy that's like a good tagline for something. Family <laughs> I'll behind. say that one. Huh? <laughs> uh, and Troy actually, he had a uh, he had a good point as well off camera. He was talking about how he loves looking in every little door that we pass by on some of these main streets because you never know I what just you're gonna I was see. Creepy. <laughs> it might be a house. It could be a restaurant. It could be a Both. funeral home. Yeah. It could be all three. <laughs> There's just always something interesting in every yeah. little courtyard behind every door in Mexico. And I think that's like maybe a metaphor or an analogy just for Mexico as a whole. <laughs> Sorry, I'm okay. Amigos, we love Mexico. We love Michoacan. Thank you so much yes. for having us here. We do have a few more videos from Michoacan coming up. So buckle up, strap in, let's do this. We will see you mañana, but do not forget to subscribe to our channel. <laughs> Click the bell that we get notified. Every time. We upload a new video and we'll see you tomorrow. Mañanita. Bye, amigos.